Hi, I'm Javis Lewis and welcome back to a series about Stories, the creative writing application for macOS and iOS. In this episode, I'm going to talk about comments and bookmarks for your manuscripts and for your screenplays. Now, comments and bookmarks are both ways of linking directly to a section inside our manuscript or our screenplay without there being any other identifying marks in there. So let's take a look at the document that I've just been working with in my previous video. In fact, let me just close this down and create a new folder here so that I can get rid of some of the story sheets here. Story sheets. There we go. And of course, you know, I'm a sucker for making sure things are correctly spelled. And I can just uh, drag in everything that I don't want to see anywhere else into here. Come on. There we go, drag it in here and then there is, uh, that was it. No, getting fired is another thing that should go in here and then we can close that down. So let's go back to our manuscript here in which we currently have uh, just a bit of text and we already have two chapters here. So I can go to chapter one and I can go to chapter two and each of these has sections inside. So it allows me to go there right away. But sometimes sections can be very long and bookmarks, let's talk about bookmarks first. Bookmarks allow us to go to a specific part inside a section without that having any other defining characteristics. So for example, imagine right here, uh, I can park my cursor anywhere I like, say here at the start of the paragraph. And that's where, I don't know, Dave cracks an interesting joke about time melting away like the snow and the sun. And you think that's great. I'd like to bookmark this location. And you do that simply by parking your cursor where you'd like to insert your bookmark. And then you head over to edit, insert, bookmark. There's also a keyboard shortcut here, even though I have no idea what the carrot thing actually is on my keyboard. But you know, if you look hard enough, I'm sure you find out. I thought at first it's the shift key, but that doesn't really appear to be the case. One of those things. So insert that here and then two things happen. On one hand, inside our text, we can see this little blue bookmark icon, which means this is where the bookmark inside the text is inserted. And then on the left hand side in our project navigator, we can give that bookmark a title. Uh, so I'll call it perhaps Dave uh, joke about uh, snow so that I know what that is about. And perhaps I'm going to scroll down uh, further or perhaps even into my other chapter here. And uh, right in the middle here, the math works like this. So perhaps I'm just going to create another bookmark here. So I'll go again, edit, insert, bookmark, and that will create another bookmark here. So uh, I'll call that the maths. So now I can literally click on any of these bookmarks and go straight there without me having to know in which chapter is this or in which section of the chapter is that. So it's a great way of finding certain passages that you wanna make sure you can easily find again. And the cool thing now is also that I can perhaps move one section from chapter two into chapter one at a different place. But the bookmark, of course, stays in the same position. So even if I do move sections, bookmarks work kind of independent of that. So that's a cool way of just, you know, making sure you find your way around your own manuscript. It's not such a big issue if you're only writing three chapters and a thousand words in total. But if you're writing, I don't know, 100, 200,000 words, it does every little helps to make you find your way around your own work. Comments are a very similar feature and they work almost like bookmarks with the addition that you can also type a little comment there. Also comments work in a way that you don't just mark one single spot in your text. You can mark a whole section of text, which will be, which will be highlighted in yellow. So for example, if we just stay with this example here, 400 pages is about a hundred thousand words. So let's highlight this by just left clicking and dragging over the passage you want to highlight that now appears blue, just like any other highlight that you do in your text can be as long or as short as you want. You can also use the shift key so I can park my cursor at the beginning of the line, hold down the shift key and mark the end of my section. That'll work as well. Or just, you know, left click and drag. That is the exact same thing. So let's, let's stick with that sentence here and head over to edit, insert, comment. 
again we have a shortcut key here if you want to and when you do that uh, this thing is now highlighted in yellow or at least when I move my cursor away from that it is and it comes up with a little comment box and this allows me to type a comment here so uh, must flesh this section out and then as soon as you click out of that it'll just be the yellow thing and then you can go there as well that's kind of cool or you can uh, mark a longer passage for example here this is still reading okay this whole paragraph uh, let's do this again edit insert comment and then say flesh this section out mention the car crash in Dave's childhood for example and this can be notes that you leave to yourself while you're reading the manuscript or this can be notes by someone else for you so if you're working together with an editor who also has stories and goes through your manuscript or to another test reader they can all leave comments and say hey actually you know have you thought about adding this or could you move this section over above whatever other section is now while bookmarks appear in the left hand side of the project navigator comments don't appear to do that and of course a very handy feature would be if we'd have a list of all our comments showing up so that we can target it and go there straight away and of course Storyist has that built in and that's not in the project navigator it is on the right hand side in the inspector but currently my inspector isn't open so in case that happens to you let's head over to view inspector and show inspector as soon as we do that we get this pane here and on the right hand side there's this little um, kind of speech bubble icon if we click that then we have all our comments here and from here you can either select a comment and then stories will go there right away or you can select the other one and then stories will also go there right away and again comments appear highlighted in yellow while bookmarks appear with this little bookmark icon at the front and as soon as you click on one of these stories moves well, however long your manuscript is moves it into position highlights that in a dark yellow kind of font here that and then you know you can do whatever you like with that to read the comment you can either click on this thing and uh, usually if it's longer than two lines let's see what happens uh, let's see what happens when a comment is much longer than two lines well, excuse the sloppy typing. Um, I guess the comment will just expand. So I was trying to find a way for the comment to kind of pop up the box again, but I guess that only happens when you set a comment. Sorry about that, didn't know that. Learned something new today. So um, to get rid of a comment, you can just go and click that little X icon here. That will remove the comment and will remove the highlight from here. Let's do that with this thing as well. Actually, no, let's not. Let's, let's go there and uh, let me show you that highlight here one more time because there's something else that you can do if you don't see these highlights here in your text. There's a way to not show them or make them show up. So same with bookmarks here. Right now we have that blue little icon here. For this to work, you must click into your text. So me being on that bookmark or on that comment isn't going to help. You have to click into the text so that your cursor is parked inside the text somewhere. And then you can head over to view and there's these two options hide comments and hide bookmarks they do exactly what you think so if i go and hide my comments then the yellow highlight isn't going to appear even though my comment is still here so as soon as i go there it will show it to me but if i go and say view oops hide comments you see it's grayed out now so i need to be in that text and then i can go view and hide comments and then they will disappear so this is important to know because the same thing can happen with bookmarks if you go to uh, view hide bookmarks then the bookmark itself is of course still there much like the comment but the bookmark icon has been removed let's get rid of our final comment here because imagine you've you've worked on this and you've revised the section as to whatever the comment tells you you can just um, go and uh, get out of here and uh, with bookmarks it kind of works the same way but there's a hidden bug in stories and I think Steve is working on uh, removing that bug so it's kind of being something just just let you know work around what what you can do here let me first of all go 
back into the text, then I go to view, and then I go and show the bookmarks so that I know where they are. There's technically two ways of removing bookmarks. The first one is by simply going to uh, click on that here and then just uh, hitting um, delete, and that will kind of remove it from here. But if I do that, then as you can see, whoops, oh, let, my, let me do that as well here, the, the mass. If, you, if I remove that from here, sometimes it just doesn't want to go. And even if it does go, you can see that sometimes the bookmark remains inside the text. And if that happens and the bookmark gets removed, then stories may behave weird and kind of sometimes crash on export. And so be careful with that. A much safer way to delete a bookmark that I found is um, if we just uh, go back and bring our two bookmarks back. Oh, no, my God, they're all gone. Now. Good thing this is only a test document. Let's just go and create a new bookmark here. So edit, insert, bookmark. There we go. That's a bookmark, and I'll just call it new bookmark. A safer way to delete bookmarks is by parking your cursor in front of a bookmark and deleting it like that. And then you make sure both the bookmark inside the text as well as in the project navigator is deleted. Just something that I found out, again, thanks to Steve, who was making me aware of this issue when I had one. So uh, I emailed my whole manuscript to Dave, to Dave, I'm sorry, to Steve, and he sorted it out and said, oh, actually, that's a bug and I'm working on it. So, you know, by the time you're watching this, that bug may already be gone, but just something to be aware of. I thought I'd let you know about this. And that is how you use comments and bookmarks in Storyist. Join me very soon for another episode here on YouTube or on the podcast feed, both of which you can subscribe to. I will leave links in the description if you're so, dis if you're so inclined. Uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you think it's helpful to someone else, please share it with them and uh, other friends, family and total strangers. And join me again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.